Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be showing off something that I was asked about. Um, I was asked how I done art on my um, Windows tablet. I have a Lenovo ThinkPad. I think it's the ThinkPad 2. I'm not sure. Uh, but it, it has a stylus with it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is install the Wacom, I think they're called the, the fillet drivers or the Wacom fill driver, something like that. Uh, but anyway, that gives you pressure sensitivity. As you can see, the line got bigger as I, I go through. Um, if I If I bring this up to where the heavy line is going to be really big, you can really see the, the difference from light pressure to heavy pressure. And that's all because of those Wacom drivers. Uh, now, I'm not sure what canvas size I have and all, but uh, anyway, I'm using, on, on the tablet, I use Sketchbook Pro 6. I actually have Sketchbook Pro 7, and I can't get it to work on the tablet for some reason. Um, but anyway, I'll go on and show my process of sketching on the tablet with this program if uh, anybody's interested this is how I, I usually do it and I mainly do this for just sketches and ideas and stuff I don't really use this for per, my professional my more professional stuff again not that I, I have any of what I call professional stuff but um, first things first I make at least two layers to start with I try not to put anything on the background layer in case I want to go back and do that later if you're doing this in sketchbook pro 7 that background layer is a different thing altogether and what you want to do is make three layers to start with and then whatever you're going to have as the background just leave it on the bottom and then the one above that you need to go in and set it to screen and what I have, I have a, a blue steel color that I love and I just take that and fill the canvas with that on screen mode and I can come back in here and pick my black again. Uh, on this, because my hand is over here, I can't have any of the toolbars open over here so I close them all out and I mainly use the pucks. Uh, but this is how I do it here. Um, I come back up to the one above that and say I'm going to draw a head. Uh, I guess I better pick a pencil that I want. So, um, let's pull this back up and hit reset on it. Okay. So, the... I'm actually going to go with, well, this pencil number two is, it's got a, a more sketchy look to it and it lets you really go in and draw it out, like beef it up as you go, where number four kind of just puts down a, a more solid line. So I kind of like number two and then at some points I like number four for the final part of the sketch so this is mainly what I do with the the old version um, 6 on my tablet uh, if I was going to draw a head of course I'm first things first I'm just going to sketch it out um, and I'm going to go on I know that the head is going to have an extra little bit for the chin. Uh, I am I'm horrible at head proportions and stuff like that. It's something I work on a lot. Uh, I'm better with uh, realistic 
heads than I am with cartoon heads, unfortunately, or not cartoon, but comic style heads. So, uh, I want to put my eyes around this area. Uh, putting a nose right here and a mouth here. And you can see that's just my guidelines. Okay, so I'm going to say this is his side head here. Um, his ear will be about in this area. And he'll probably have a hairline about right here. Okay, and then I know he's gonna he's gonna be big and bulky, so let's give him shoulders like so, and let's just go on and cut this out. Now, what I want to do is take this layer and drag it below that one, and you can see it it turns it blue. Uh, now, I actually discovered this step from another guy on YouTube and I, I've been using it ever since. I can't remember his name, but if it's you, uh, thank you very much for that that step. I I choose uh, the, the steel blue over top of the regular blue color because it just it fits me better. Um, but anyway, now all I gotta do, I select that top layer again and I add another layer and you can go on and add several layers if you know you're going to be using them so I'm going to pull this up here uh, what I'm going to do is giving myself right now two refined layers and what I'm going to do with that is just say okay well again I know his head is going to be right here so uh, let's give him a actual ear place and just work on refining everything the best you can and I actually had went through and done a, a little study to where I learned all about doing ears and I have forgotten every single bit of it. So uh, that's something that I, I have to work on a lot. Uh, I need to go back and actually study that. And I want to say that's his nose. You can see when I put my hand down, I get all of this extra over here. That's the only thing I don't like about drawing on the tablet. Um, I don't know if I put something in between my hand and the, the tablet, if it would work or what I need to do, but um, I don't really want to put something on top of the tablet screen and it, I don't know, let me see if that does anything. Oh, there we go. I'll just use a handkerchief then. Um, I'm going to go on and sketch him in. First things first is I know the eyeballs are round so I'm going to make them round to start with and what I'm going to do is actually okay I'm going to come back here and erase this bit out a little bit now that way I have a, a better idea of where I actually want to place the eyeballs and I know that nose has a little thing under it and I am absolutely horrible with mouths so I'm gonna do is give him a, a weird little weird little grin over top of a
if you hear that that's just my aunt getting after the cat scratching on the wall <laughs> uh, anyway you can see he's starting to take shape a little more now um, now you don't have to go back down here and refine anything else in this part uh, but you can if you want to say I know that this might come in a little more instead it might actually come down a little more I'm going to go on and try to sketch that in and I know that he might have cheekbones right in here and that comes down around here and everybody's got wrinkles right here so the next layer pretty much what I'm going to do is um, the next layer I guess what I'll do is go in and actually uh, work on the eyes themselves and since I've, I've sort of went through and redone this entire layer one thing I can do after I'm done with it is actually go in to the layer below it and cut that off and I can still see where I have all my stuff but I can take this layer now and pull it below and make it the blue and what I can do actually is take this layer instead and actually pull the opacity down a little bit so I still have those lines uh, I just they're not as prominent and that really helps uh, I might actually have to start drawing like this with my my handkerchief under my hand <laughs> I do this actually when I'm drawing on pieces of paper it, it really helps a lot actually um, but I'm gonna go on and try to refine this uh, one thing a comic book character doesn't have to have perfect eyes but uh, I'm gonna go on and say that his are more human like uh, and again I'm horrible at eyes so what I'm gonna do is zoom in and actually kind of sketch around them like so and you notice I'm actually laying down uh, like a preliminary line to start with on top of on that and then I'm going back with another one um, the great thing about this is you can move it with your your fingers and pinch the zoom and all of that it's awesome and honestly um on a tablet if you want to twist the tablet to actually you know look like to say I want it to twist it and draw something over here you don't have to use the rotate feature on the program you can just twist the tablet you know from here to here and do it so that's that's really cool also um, it's kind of hard to do in making a video though because I have just the the one angle I can use with this camera okay um so I'm going to go on and try to draw out where that bottom is going to be I can usually get one eye looking decent and the other eye looks horrible so let's go for that and another thing I have a real problem with actually is is um eyebrows I am just <laughs> I'm not very good at eyebrows at all so I'll show you how I sort of manage those let me go back and get my pencil again uh, 
Uh, now one thing, this tablet doesn't do um, big canvas as well, so that's why I have it. That's why I actually have it um, on a smaller canvas, and it, it kind of does that when you zoom in. I think it's a 2,000 by 2,000 canvas. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, uh, so how I want to do this is sort of, I make a, like a double U shape right here almost. And I take that and just sort of give a guideline of where I want the, the eyebrows to be. Um, and what I usually do is I go back in and instead of actually trying to sketch them out, I actually will just leave the wrinkles there and then I'll kind of come back and just come in and add the hairs for them. Uh, but Let's see. I don't, I'm really bad with hair too, so I don't know what kind of hair I want to give him. Um, he actually looks kind of good bald, so I'm thinking I'm going to give him a. Um, maybe give him a balder head. Just for the sake of this though, I'm going to go on and sketch out a little bit of a hairline and I'll go in and fill this in later. But uh, Mainly I'm going to just give him a, a really short haircut, like a buzz cut almost. And just to show a little bit of direction, uh, I'm just going to put a, a few little things in. And like I said, this is just to show direction of the way that the hair is going to flow. Um, and here, now, in, in an area like this, hair could kind of, you know, they could flow um, s sort of sideways if it's a little bit longer. But it, it's actually going to actually sort of be more straight up and down through this area probably. Um, like so and it'll be that way actually until until you get over here to this other side so it, it should be more like that and then right in this area it sort of starts twisting and it'll sort of come down a little bit so that's what I'm trying to show with just this and this this has a, a button on the stylus and it keeps messing up on me. I will I keep hitting it. So now I'm going to go back in and say I know I want him to have eyebrows. Uh, sort of like that's how I do them. And that'll probably give him some some wrinkles and this is all just line art so I'm gonna go on and try to sketch in a, an eyeball as well um, oops A 
again this is still not my final um but it's just a, a quick sketch and you can see I've got his eyes sort of messed up here and I'm gonna try to take care of that actually that looks a little better all right so now I'm gonna drag this layer down here and I'm actually gonna try cutting this one off okay so I like that I like how it looks uh, let me cut this one back on and see alright what I'm gonna do is actually come down here to this layer and I like it but I want to get rid of this in it so just to show yeah the rest of it can stay where it's at and all so all right and now what I'm going to do is actually sketchbook pro you just sort of drag and I merged it all down to one layer now so it won't have to take up so much RAM to have those layers now if I want to say if I want to make a final line art I'm going to go and pick the number four brush and I want to start with I think I'm actually going to downsize this brush a little bit first. Uh, reset it and well, I'm going to pull it down a little bit further if I can. okay uh, one thing I have a problem with is getting this to work right so just gonna let me see I think I'll pull it up and say that I want it to be three at the most and just hit enter and then here I want to say I want that to be 0.5 get rid of that all right now I can actually go in and do my line art uh, which will be this one and I want to just start up here try not to have that where I can press it but uh you can see how it does little lines at this point and they're much much darker even though they're smaller than the other pencil they're darker right out of the right out of the box off of that one um, I'm not exactly sure why that is but uh, now one thing if I want it to go in here I could actually go to Windows or to image and mirror canvas and now I can draw this like so and then come back and mirror it again and that's why you see people doing stuff like that in a lot of the videos is because they have an easier time drawing on one side than the other um, so I know that I want him to have oops have his okay now 
for your line art you want to make sure that you have it exactly right so I'm going to go on and make sure that I've got it how I want it the first time also with line art you want to sort of make sure that you get the get the whole thing um, done in as few strokes as possible and you don't want to have a bunch of smaller jagged lines is what I'm saying basically so. and again I'm I've gotten horrible with ears again I used to be really good at ears uh, I just can't remember how I done them and that's all it is to it basically uh, oops I want this to come out further this way another thing you can do in this program is there's a thing called steady stroke and it sort of you go in front of it but I don't like it um I like it's okay on my big computer I guess I should say but on this computer it's just on this tablet it doesn't help me at all I guess it's because I'm drawing directly on the screen with this This is the step that I'm always most careful in. If you you do anything to mess up in line art, you can kind of go back and erase it later and tidy it up. But like I said, you want to make sure that you you have if you're doing a line art, especially that you you have it to where it looks better. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, sort of outline where the eyebrows are going to go just like this though uh, I don't want to I don't want to put in the full eyebrows just yet and I'll explain that in a little bit but uh, I'm going to go in and zoom in on the face and start putting in some of these details a little bit better. Now one thing is if you have your your pen down here and you you want to undo you can you usually have to pick your pen and your hand up. Cause you can't just tap it with your thumb like I'm doing there now this guy he looks a little evil at the same time as you know he looks kind of kind of um happy but he's evil happy so and I'm just showing um wrinkles on those so what I'm gonna do is say I say if you can't if you can't turn it this is the part where you really want to be able to to rotate your screen or something but I'm going to go on and actually try to turn my tablet but keep it in the frame a little bit just 
Actually, maybe I better not. I'm going to just work on it here then. All right. only problem I'm really having is I can't exactly make out some of the stuff that's why you want to go in and sort of delete or cut the visibility of some of those layers off as you build them up go on and add in some more of these as well uh, just for you know wrinkleish looks and let me back that out and really get that in there right okay he's looking better Now for this eye, I'm just going to try to do it a little bit faster for the video. Um, I would show this as a um, direct capture but this tablet does not have anything that will capture on it um, I tried capturing with several other softwares and it just does not work properly um, I think I'm actually going to come back in here and Race out some of this, and then I'll go back and put that in a little bit differently. There we go. That looks a little better. All right. That's one problem you have sometimes is that instead of it actually picking up what you're doing, it picks it up as a a stroke. So. All right, I didn't really flesh out his nose earlier, so I'm going to do that now. Um, and just sort of. Sort of give him a little bit of a a better nose. Oops. And again, I'm I'm not trying to draw the best or anything. I'm just showing my method of working on the tablet. Uh, now I know he's going to have stuff here and then there's another wall down here so I'm going to show that lightly and I know there's another wall down here so that's just some, kind of um, showing where that would be and then 
have to move that line. But this one seems to be all right. I keep hitting that darn button. I, I'm trying to keep it in between my, my two fingers up here. And that way I won't hit it. But I have a problem doing it. So. Okay, so that's about the best that's going to be. All right. Okay, first thing I've done was mess it up. <laughs> I learned a long time ago that a mouth can look really good if you just put these little, you put a round side on it. And you sort of put a shape like that in there. And there we go. Okay. So what I actually had done here was something a little different. So I need to come back and erase part of this on both sides. I'm actually going to redefine that entire area with the eraser. And what I had done was I had a little lip here. Mm. I think I better just erase that part out and go in and try it again. Uh, and that's the good thing about doing digital is you can really work on it however you want to and then erase it if you don't like it so the thing is I'm just trying to get the uh, get that lip in there a little bit better and I think I'm not really liking that that bottom part at all so I think what I'm gonna do is take it out altogether and just redo the whole mouth. Um, I know that he's got a little bit of a lip up here. And just going to put it there. He's got his teeth here. And he's got a tooth here. And he's got... got a tooth here and he's got teeth coming around this way because he's a zombie-ish looking guy but he's happy about it all right um Give him another tooth right there that you can see in the background. And I'll go and fill that in too. And now I can go on and draw that line where his teeth are at the bottom of his lip or the top of his lip. And now I can actually sort of draw this lip out a little bit better. I am going to have to turn my tablet to do this. Uh, I'm going to bring it around. Like so. Mm, let me get my tablet back where it goes now. There we go. Okay, so... That is his facial expressions. Now, one thing is 
I sort of want to go back in here and say, hey, you know, he needs to have this little thing in the back of his throat. Um, he needs to have this little area like this. And then he needs to have a tongue as well. And I'm just going to draw his tongue to where it sort of fits in like this right here. And now, I'll come back up here. Hold on one second. All right. There we go. I'm going to just pull these in. And if you're not wanting it to be a comic character, you do not have to go through the trouble of having perfect line art. Um, this is just sort of my my process of doing a comic character and I think that it will work very well for me um, in the future. I, I've actually just figured this out on this tablet how to do things a lot better. Um, I never really had a lot of luck with drawing on this tablet until now and I think it was because of an update that came out. Uh, okay. First things first is I am going to just do it this way. Uh, the neck should come down from behind that part, I believe. And then this should actually come up from here. Okay. All right. Now, men have an Adam's apple. Uh, and then you have that, and top of the pecs kind of come in like that and you know, you'll have the separations and so what I'm going to do is just go on right here pull this out pull that out and I'm just going to cut it off right here with a an edge and I don't even care about this edge it can well I won't take that back I do care about that edge I want it to be as perfect as I can get it so so there we go that is my line art stage and what I can do here is say okay I see him there and I can take that off and there we have him in all his line art glory and from here up under the line art now the line art I am going to lock so I can't do anything else on that right now I'm also going to go on and put that back on so I can see the hair in it though and I'm going to come to this one and put about it depends on how you want to, to color um, but I have several methods for coloring um, I'm going to be putting up another video showing those later but uh, basically once you're at this step you can go in and you can do a grayscale like a, a tone tonal value painting up under the piece or you can come in and do um, 
cell shading so uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to go on and I'll actually go on and end the video here and this is just how I do my, my line art and build it up uh, and then I'll do another two videos to show how I do the different um, the different styles of actually building up the colors so uh, I will get back to that and I'll be back to that soon so see you later